Okay, so after after living in in life for for however many years, after Sarah Connor has figured out that she like her womb carries the future of humanity, we see that she's she's burdened, that she's that she's emotionally damaged by by having all that weight on her shoulders. Yep. Let's see it. Want some of my fries? Oof, it's subtle. It's subtle, but like there's the child that she's been that was stripped away from her. She went to a mental institution. She could not see the savior of humanity. And he's offering her fries and she's just just shoveling food. She's 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 somewhere else in her mind right now. She's dealing with some possible future that she's like she's she's wrestling with it. And so we see that Sarah Connor is like a full human. She's like she's not just there as like a plot device. Like she's experiencing this future, this world that she's desperately trying to stop from happening right kyle reese and the terminator were dumped on her early in her life she has the child and now the burden of the world is on top of her and she can share it with essentially no one Mm -hmm. because who's going to believe her so she has to live this alone she's not just perfectly i do everything great i do everything awesome like it's a lot it's a lot for one human to handle in fact it's the most any human has ever handled like the 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 future of all humanity on your shoulders that's a lot yeah and you can't and in fact you can't talk to anyone you know every so every leader in history who's felt like they've had to fight a world war or whatever there's been surrounded by people she's completely generals alone. advisors completely alone <sighs> cool so it's cool cool that we get to see like she's uh she's a person struggling with this struggling yeah so after being snubbed john goes to to um arnold for some help Do you need any help? No. <laughs> Just a straight up no. Also, okay. what he's doing here, I think, is not enough. Look at the beginning of the scene. Look how much steam. That's a blown radiator. That's that that's pouring water out. Hmm. He's going to a little little refill. No chance, dude. Wait, you're getting I, like thirty miles. I guess I always assumed that they had done some sort of they cooled down the engine. They refilled fluids and now he's topping up the oil. But this is the end product of some sort of maintenance. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, sure, maybe. Maybe maybe there's a crack in the radiator and so water is spewing out and it's hitting the engine at all hot. Yeah. But if I can get in there with his robot abilities mm-hmm. and just do a little seal on the radiator, then okay, mm-hmm. we're back up and running. C- can you put, while the engine is super hot, can you put oil into an engine when it's hot like that? Is that a good idea? I think it's okay to put oil in there because there's not a lot of thermal mass Mm -hmm. um if you try to pour water on an engine that's super bad that's super bad Um, yeah yeah, because then you get you get a shock you can get a crack if there's Mm -hmm. too cold of water and too hot of an engine you really need to just let it cool down room temperature on its own Mm. but what he's doing here is he's putting radiator fluid into the radiator which must be there and so uh, I've learned this from having some broken radiators. <laughs> like mm-hmm. you gotta either replace the whole thing or get in there and weld it shut, uh, mm-hmm. which you know maybe he does. I don't know. And he has detailed files, so detailed files. Yep, the T one on one can do everything. Yep. Even on this old model Ford, he knows what to do. I mean, but that's right, right? Because the T one on one brain is a computer. It can just just shove as many files you need in there. That's right. So all the manuals from all the things in the past since he's going to the past is in there yeah yeah throw a like a throw like a stone tablet at this guy like a heat chisel in there like not a problem wait what so all the technologies from all the past and i went after stone tablets like ding 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 like i think the t101 would have no problem oh i see yeah he but well actually maybe he would because there's no manual (gasps) maybe we go maybe okay here's okay so you keep the the we're having issues with this movie for like time loops, right? Where does information mm-hmm. come from? What if there's a what if there's a Terminator that's sent back in time, and that Terminator is the one that invents the wheel? Why would he do that? Because he wants to start Term- the Terminator. He starts said- starts the machine. That's the original. That's the first machine. That's the original machine. The wheel. Yeah, actually, you send a Terminator thousands of years in the past. Mm-hmm. Send him into a cave. Power him down. Mm-hmm. And then when John is born, power him up and go kill him. You don't have to send him back at the time you're going to kill him. 
I guess you can send them back up to 120, but 120 years is the battery life of any T101, but that's like active. So right. maybe there's power a low power down. mode? Low power okay, mode. Okay, power down. Power down, yeah. Put a little timer on it? Okay. Okay, just tick away. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In fact, you send a bunch just just around as like traps whenever whenever John goes like a little league baseball game, like boom, there's a T101 in the mound. That's right. Yeah. Wait, in the mound? He's like underground. He's underground. He's a he's he's pops up. Now. Yeah, the hand comes up and then grabs him by the ankle. Like, yeah. That is the I best think. way to assassinate. I mean, I'm, I'm not worried about the best way. I got I got time on my hand. I do I do a whole bunch of stuff. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, I would send another Terminator to hang out here at this like particular gas station. Be like, hey, if there's a kid that comes by, pump full of lead. Yeah. I mean, if you know he's coming, this particular gas station or whatever this is. But Good point. There must be a lot of places where they know he's going to be, and you send multiple Terminators. To those multiple locations but we said that maybe the time travel device it wasn't able to send more than two that's a good point mm-hmm. otherwise if 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 the robots had built the time travel device and was able were able to send tons and tons of robots back they just send an, an armada of these things that's right All right there's nothing you can do to stop them okay. in fact the more they send the more the tech is likely to be dumped off creating more time loops which ensures their sur- their creation and survival. So, gosh, I wonder if you can get a T not one thousand, but a T two thousand. The model that's I'm, I'm making this up. T two thousand. That's one that's really good at, at at simulating humans. And you get someone to come in to be Miles Dyson, and then it's actually like a it's actually a Terminator the whole time. Oh, you go and replace Miles Dyson. It has detailed files, and it just does the Miles Dyson thing. Yeah, you break the chip. Who cares? It's got a chip itself. It's got a chip itself. Just yeah. Hmm. Cool. Cool. Time travel. It's a problem. 